<laughs> I'm having major Gia gun lash right now. That's the stage right behind me right there. I've got wispy hair galore. I hairsprayed the shit out of this wig and I'm still... Uh, look how close I am to the stage. This is the stage right there. There's a platform right there. So, no, I'm here with my flatmate, but I just sent him to the bar for us. I was like, you can go to the bar. I'm just going to chill in here for a bit. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe how close we are. Is this not insane? This is amazing. Insane. My name's Feminine, just like Eminem, but with an F. I live right here in Perth. Can I tell you a story? Yeah, please. Can I tell you a story? I, a couple of days ago, I was actually asked to sing in the Skyfall Choir because I'm a singer. And I said... The men's choir! The men's choir got asked to do it! And I said no, so I could come dressed as you. So, I think, yeah, fuck it. Well, she come dressed as me for the men's choir. Well, no, the brief said I had to wear a suit and I just spent $700 on this dress, so I was like... Oh, custom made, of course. Me too, me too. Yes. <laughs> How, have you ever dressed up as me before? I impersonate you professionally for a job. Shut up. <laughs> I just, uh, for those of you who are at the French World Festival, you might have seen me impersonating Adele in the Divas show. Oh, oh shit, I'm late. I'm sorry, I'm late. I haven't been here before. Can I sing for you? concert and yes yes uh, I did get pulled up on stage by Adele and I did sing for Adele and just crazy um, <laughs> um, I'm looking at my Facebook and the notifications are like flying past the screen so fast I can't keep up my Instagram I've had Radio stations, TV stations, inbox me, call me, tweet me. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, and uh, it is currently midnight and I have a flight to Sydney at 5.30am. Which I need to pack for because I'm going to Mardi Gras to do a bunch of DJ gigs. So yeah, I just took my makeup off. And I am now going to attempt to pack my suitcase. I kind of half packed it before I went to Adele because I knew I wasn't going to have a lot of time to pack when I get home. But yeah, crazy, craziness. So I'm just going to, oh, for fuck's sake. Hi. 
I just got to Sydney, um, and of course, you know, being on a plane, sorry, I'm blocking my view, I'm just putting lashes on. Um, being on a plane for four hours after what happened last night, turn my phone on, and of course, it just erupts with messages on Facebook, Twitter, email, voicemail, like the whole, the whole deal, the whole deal. And, um, so I'm trying to return all these calls while I'm in the Uber on the way to the hotel and both channel, no, channel 9 and channel 10 are currently on their way to interview me and I have about 25, 30 minutes to get into some sort of presentable drag to uh, do some television interviews. So yeah, this is just, insanity is the only word to describe it. So, I'm gonna take, turn you guys off because I need to finish this face. Oh my God, insane guys. I just, I... Hi, so, for those of you who have been following along on Twitter or my personal Facebook page, uh, so after the show last night, I didn't have any sleep. I uh, went home, packed my bag, and I got on the first flight to Sydney because I am in Sydney to do some Mardi Gras gigs. And of course, after everything that happened last night at the Adele concert, uh, my phone blew up. And uh, when I got off the plane in Sydney, I had, I can't even begin to tell you how many inbox messages, emails, <laughs> tweets. So I literally got off the plane, came straight to the hotel, got into drag again, here I am, on the other side of the country, and uh, just did a television interview for Channel 9 and also Channel 10. Um, I know Channel 7 Perth have been playing clips from last night's show. I can't believe how good my makeup is. I literally just got ready in 40 minutes. It never happens. I mean, it's not amazing makeup, but it's certainly good for a rush job. So yeah, uh, I have not slept. I had maybe an hour's worth of sleep on the plane. Uh, but yeah, zero, zero sleep, people. So things have just, and I've, I've just picked up the phone to quickly say hi to everyone. Um, but I have a bunch of messages still in my uh, phone to reply to from radio stations, uh, media people, all kinds of websites. I, yeah, this is just crazy. Uh, yeah, enjoying the ride, babe. I'm, <laughs> I don't know if I even know if I'd call it a ride. I'm, I feel like I'm just being dragged along at the moment by whoever rings me and calls me once an interview. But question for you all, who wants to do a show? Um, now that Fringe is over, um, I keep getting asked about my Mad as Hell show, so I'm thinking in the next couple of weeks, uh, maybe like end of March, when I get home from Mardi Gras, about redoing my Mad as Hell show, which for those of you who have not seen me before, who are only just joined after seeing me at the last night, my Mad as Hell show is a one woman cabaret show where I sing, I tell jokes, I tell stories about my life. So yeah, if you want me to do a show, Leave a comment and I'll make it happen and you can all come along and see me and we can take selfies and speaking of selfies, I got stopped for about 10 million selfies on the way out of the arena last night. Crazy. Alright, I'm going to log off because I have so many more messages to reply to. But if, like I said, if, uh, if you're wanting to see my Mad as Hell show or I might even do like a hybrid show which is part Mad as Hell, part Adele. I don't know. What kind of show do you guys want me to do? Uh, this is for Perth, obviously, because that's where I, I live. But, um, so yeah, if you're in Perth and you want to see my solo show, leave me a comment and I uh, will make it happen, I guess. Ciao, guys. Bye. So, um, guess what? I'm back in makeup. <laughs> um, I'm off to do some more television stuff. Uh, something for Channel 7 and then something with the the project for Channel 10. I need to go fix my lashes. They're looking a bit wonky right now. They're not very even. But I just had to leave the hotel to go buy nail glue because Adele has nails and I cannot go on 
national television without nails. <laughs> so I'm now running back to the hotel to quickly put my nails on, put the hair and the dress on and get in an Uber and head to Channel 7. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm up in the gig and I'm at Channel 7 and I'm about to do some filming for the Daily Edition, I believe it's called. I'm trying to be quiet so I don't annoy anyone, but yeah, holla. Channel 10, baby. Yeah, I think maybe this is probably best. Cool. Yeah. Green screen. Oh. Okay, so I've pretty much finished with Adele for the day. And here I am with Tiffany. So uh, I just picked Tiffany up from work and we are now on the way back to the hotel for me to have a shower. And then we're going to see Trevor Ashley tonight at the Opera House. Trevor, I, uh, I I talked about it in my live video earlier, but yeah, Trevor is the first person who ever put me in drag, and he is so fucking talented. I can't wait to see the show tonight. He's doing a Shirley Bassey impersonated show called Diamonds Are For Trevor. So maybe Adele and Shirley Bassey should do a duet. Yeah. Nah, fuck it. I'm taking this makeup <laughs> off. I am, <laughs> I am hungry, and I really need a shower. So, yeah. It is uh, nearly 2 a.m. and of course I can't get to sleep. I have hardly slept in the last two days and I don't know if it's just because I've, I'm like just still full of adrenaline or because my body clock is still in Perth time or what it is, but I cannot get to sleep and I am dying. What the hell? Hello, it's me. I was wondering if after all these years you'd like to meet to go over everything. They say the time's supposed to heal ya, but I ain't done much healing. Hello, can you hear me? I'm in California dreaming about who we used to be when we were younger and free. I've forgotten how it felt before the world fell at our feet. There's such a difference between us and a million miles. So my three day wall just hit and I can't function. Hi Ash. <laughs> Ash and Jared are here from Canberra. We just had dinner and I now have to go get ready to DJ at the Midnight Shift for Sharon Needles and I really just want to pass out. That whole sleeping about six hours in three days don't recommend it but the show must go on and I have to put makeup on which is going to torture my lovely skin you can see this lovely goida here <laughs> <laughs> from all the shaving and makeup in the last few days <laughs> right in that wave girls okay so I am off to do my last gig for the week I'm off to DJ at Arc in Sydney I hear the venue's already at capacity and there's a line around the block. So, of course, I've got one clash like always. So, yeah, I'm off to do that. This week has been insane, to say the least. I'm trying to find a good light. That's what I was about. So, yeah, I've been trying to vlog as much as I can, but I've been so busy, I just keep forgetting to pick up the phone and press record. Um, so, yeah, I'll try and take some footage tonight in the club if I can. If I can't, then... I'll edit up what I've made, but this has been the most insane week of my life, and there's so much happening so fast, and there's more stuff coming, so keep an eye out on my Facebook, my Instagram, my Twitter, my YouTube, all that stuff, and uh, yeah, thanks for all the really kind messages you've all been sending me, like, it's crazy, so I'll talk to you guys all soon, and much love, bye.
All right, guys, that is a wrap. I am officially done for the week. I know I said it before, but it has been insanity. And thanks, guys, for all the... Like, it's been so hard for me to keep up with everything on social media, so thank you for uh, tagging me and all the different articles that I probably wouldn't have gotten to see if people hadn't tagged me. Um, but yeah, I'm now headed back to my hotel, having a shower, and going to get some rest finally. It has been the most insane week of my life. Thanks for coming along on the ride. Subscribe to all my different social medias. And uh, I'll see you at a show or a club real soon. Bye.